Data Handling You have earlier seen how to collect data and represent the same through pictograph and bar graph. Let us see a few examples. Here is a picture of birds in an album. Asha counted the number of each type of birds and made a tally for each bird as shown here. She found that there were five counts of peacock. So she represented them with four sticks and a cross. It represented five peacocks. Each of these representations of four sticks and a cross stick represents a count of five. There were six parrots which were represented as shown. There were two eagles, four pigeons and three sparrows. This kind of representation helped her in counting each type of bird quickly and represent this data through pictograph. The pictorial representation is shown here. Observe the picture given here. Toys are displayed on the shelf. The number of each type of toy is counted by marking tallies. Note the entries made in the table. Doll. There are six dolls which is represented as five plus one in tallies and is counted as six in the number form. There are five bats, five balls, eight balloons and four rings. The same information can be represented pictorially as shown here. Let us study a few more examples. Teacher Mrs. Stella asks the class 5 students to tell their mode of traveling to school every day. She puts a tally mark as each of the students answered and prepared the following table. Number of students who walked to school were 15 and was represented in tallies and numbers as shown. Number of students taking the bus were 10. Number of students coming by van were 10 and number of students bicycling to school were 5. The number of students is large in number. Hence it takes more time to draw so many pictures. She decided to draw one symbol to represent 5 students. So let the symbol shown represent 5 students. So for the number of students who walk to school, this can be represented with three of the symbols as there are 15 students. Number of students taking the bus were 10 and is represented by two of the pictures. Number of students taking the van were also 10 and is represented by two of the pictures, each picture accounting for five students. Number of students taking the bicycle were five. Rahim buys fruits for his mother on her birthday. He picks up various kinds of fruits from the fruit seller. He prepares a table for the data about the number of fruits bought. How do we represent this through pictograph? Let one fruit represent four fruits since all the numbers are multiples of four. So, if we say that each of the banana here represents four bananas, then we will be depicting six bananas which will represent 6 into 4 which is equal to 24 bananas. Similarly, 4 oranges have been drawn. Each orange represents 4 oranges. So, this would represent 4 into 4 which is equal to 16 oranges. Similarly, 3 apples and 5 mangoes have been drawn. So, when the number to be represented is large, we choose a symbol to represent a certain number of objects. The following data shows the number of pens sold by a shopkeeper during the first five months of a year. The same is represented as follows through a pictograph. If you observe, the number of pens are all multiples of five. So, we can see that each pen represents a count of 5 pens. In which case, for January, 
we will draw 7 pens which is 7 into 5 which gives you 35 pens which is the actual number of pens sold in the month of January. For February we draw 5 pens since 5 into 5 represents 25 which is the number of pens actually sold in February. And so on we represent for March, April and May. Now let us see the interpretation of a graph. The following pictograph shows the number of students present in a class of 35 students during the week. Now each of these pictures represents 5 students as shown. So on Monday there are 6 of the pictures which means there are 6 into 5 which is equal to 30 students present. On Tuesday there were 5 into 5 which is 25 students were present and so on on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Now studying the pictograph answer the following questions. On which day were the maximum number of students present? If you observe you can see that on Thursday the maximum number of students were present which is 35. On which day were the minimum number of students present? We can see that on Saturday minimum number of students were present which were 10. How many students were present on Monday? If you observe you can see that on Monday 30 students were present. What is the difference in the number of students present on Tuesday and Friday? On Tuesday 25 students were present and on Friday 20 students were present. So the difference would be 25 minus 20 which is 5 students. How many students were absent on Wednesday? If we take that the maximum number of students are 35, on Wednesday only 15 students were present. So the number of students absent on Wednesday would be 35 minus 15 which is 20 students. Bar graph. The marks scored by Rajiv in the annual examination are as follows. He scored 60 marks in Hindi, 80 in Kannada, 40 in English, 90 in Science, 70 in Mathematics and 50 in Social Studies. This can be represented in the graph as shown here. If you consider the X and the Y axis, the x-axis represents the subjects and the y-axis represents the marks. The scale of marks is taken from 0 to the maximum marks that was scored in science which is 90. Now each of these bars or columns represents the marks scored in each subject. So you can see that in Hindi it is 60. In Kannada it is 80, in English it is 40, in Science it is 90, in Mathematics it is 70 and in Social Studies it is 50. The data is represented in the columns by drawing vertical rectangles with uniform space between them.